everyone and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in this video, we will recap today's market action and discuss our game plan for tomorrow. But first up, to get our market moving reports on top small caps, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on InsiderFinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Mobile is the fastest way to get our alerts and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you'll get a welcome email, which includes a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free service from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever, no Discord rooms or Telegram chat groups. Well, guys, last night I said insanity coming. It's low float season. Someone made a comment that it's clickbait. Well, if it's clickbait, uh, so be it. We're happy uh, though that you're watching. And uh, if you did, you banked. Uh, we are seeing a lot of low float runners. Uh, last week, we sent out an alert on uh, THAR and WLDS to our subscribers. Both uh, were 2 p.m. alerts, THAR uh, today up 64%, and WLDS up 27%. Uh, WLDS was sent... Uh last week under 50 cents so uh, almost a double congrats to all who have banked in these two and speaking of low floats we have another low float tomorrow at 2 p.m uh, this one is in the uh, health space and it is on the nasdaq trading under one dollar and the float is just right at five million shares so there's potential major major squeeze action and if you look at what's happening in in the markets right now as i said low float season is here shoot me if you want but it's a fact uh you can go into a screener on finviz and just descriptive here float under 10 million uh top gainers look at this cdio up 102 percent krro up 59 percent pxm MD up 47%, LOCL up 37%, BYU up 36%. So again, this is where the action is, TNON up 18%. And these are stocks I covered last night, specifically um, uh, which one here? Uh, CDIO, I said just 5.5 million share float, more room to run. And this is all right there. You can go here and it's all right there. Uh, I have the stocks listed. This video covers. It's all listed right there. We're trying to put stocks on your radar that have the potential for outsized moves. Uh, it's about forming your watch list and then trading green, not red. We're not dip buying penny stocks. That is the fastest way to the poor house. Uh, I also warned everyone about LIFW was down 35% today. Guys, when stocks are running on no news, specifically you get this, you know, on LIFW, it opened at $3.20 and ran all the way to $17 on no news. That is obviously a short squeeze and it was also uh, a, a discord room pump. Uh, so, you know, a lot of these end up, people end up reading the headlines or seeing the moves and in, in top gainers. They go rushing in and then they, they end up becoming bag holders. Uh, on a lot of these plays, they're not uh, overnight plays. If you have green right now, if you can, you know, hit those singles and doubles, you have to make that money. You have to take it. Don't get greedy, guys. You're going to run into uh, a lot of problems if, if you are greedy. But overall, uh, if you look at SPY, as I said last night, we're trading above the 50 and the 200-day moving averages right now, consolidating nicely up here. Uh, I know it just the trend right now, uh, it looks like the market wants to go higher again. Um, I know some people were saying concerned it was a dead cap bounce. Uh, we're getting Fed speak this week. Powell will be speaking twice. Um, you know, if he comes out hawkish, that's going to, you know, uh, knock the wind out of the sails of this market. But right now, you know, as I said, it's seasonally November, December are two very, very good months for the markets. So you get these Santa Claus rallies and, and that's what it, the market looks like it's, it's setting up. Uh, you're getting 
a lot of things that are that are happening right now. First of all, you know, gold is pulled back off of, uh, you know, it's under two thousand dollars again. You know, that was a uh, a flight to safety trade. Uh, you know, quality. You know, concerns about you know Israel, Hamas, Hamas uh, what's going on there? Um, and you know, if you there was a lot of premium in, in oil. Um, there was concern about that, that, and we're back under, you know, eighty dollars here. Um, so this is, you know, uh, when when you get a pullback in oil prices, you know, that is deflationary, and that is, you know, good, uh, you know, for the markets. But there is a headline today from Bloomberg: Oil falls to three month low as the bearish demand indicators grow. Uh, American gasoline demand forecast at twenty year low next year. WTD. TI declines to near $77 after plunging 4.3%. So there are demand concerns, and there is concern that uh, we are going to enter into a um a recession uh, next year. Some are talking about first quarter. Some are talking about second quarter. But again, I think the markets are 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 not going to focus on that headline right now. The headline that everyone that the markets are focusing on is the longer term yields. U.S. ten year. Uh, I was over five percent. Uh, you know, last before the Fed meeting, uh, we're at four and a half percent. Same thing with the U.S. thirty year yields. We were at five point one. We're at four point seven percent. So these pullback in yields is what the market is focused on right now, and that is why we're seeing, you know, just overall, you know, a lot of bullish uh, uh, excitement in the markets. But again, you know, we covered a lot of winners last night uh, in the video. Uh, TMDX uh, had, as I said, had big earnings after the bell. Um, Eighteen percent of the float is short. There was a lot of opportunities here. To make money, uh, the stock here it opened at fifty-seven dollars, dipped down just nineteen cents to fifty-six eighty-one, rallied all the way to sixty-eight forty-seven before closing at sixty dollars. So a lot of opportunities. This was a great day trade today. Uh, congrats to uh, to anyone that uh, banked in that. But uh, TNON, this was a low floater that I talked about last night, up up eighteen percent. IMTE, uh, another low floater, up eleven percent. Trip. Uh, advisor uh, up 10% had big earnings talked about that last night but there's a lot going on in the markets right now and uh, this is the time to be putting money to work um, I know a lot of people are, are have blocked out the markets this year uh, it's been it was you know August September October were rough months uh, small caps have been up been a horrible year but you know when these markets get hot they get hot you know quickly and that's when you got to, you know, start paying attention. Uh, we're getting some news. Uh, uh, oh, lastly, the SNTI up 78%. Uh, had big, big PR last night. So again, congrats if you uh, caught that move. But again, two that I'm watching for tomorrow. Uh, first up is LUMO. Uh, the stock... Uh, Rocketed almost 100% in after hours trading after the biotech report at the top line data showed two phase two studies for its drug candidate LUM-T01 had met their primary and secondary endpoints. Uh, the company has been testing the drug for the treatment of pediatric, pediatric growth hormone deficiency or PGHD. It added that no significant safety con concerns had been identified in the trials to date. The biotech company also said the data also provided pre preliminary validation of the predictive enrichment marker strategy with pre -specific Pre-specified primary and secondary outcomes met, de-risking our patient selection for our phase three program. Big news, great. But the problem is with uh, when they have to do phase three, uh, you know, these these trials cost money. So that means uh, more dilution coming. So again, be cautious here. Uh, you could get the shorties uh, coming in and, and trying to top it, top ticket tomorrow and push it back down. So that's what a lot of the shorts are doing right now. They're seeing these gappers. And they're coming in and they're shorting them. If they're not getting it that day, they're getting it overnight. So again, you know, be careful here, guys. Uh, and after hours trading, uh, Upwork uh, uh, beat earnings, uh, non-gap EPS of 21 cents beat by 11 cents, uh, revenue of 175 million beat by 7.62 million. 
Um, active clients increased 2% year over year and quarter over quarter to approximately 836,000. But uh, the, the key here is what the market cycle is guidance. Based on the current trends in our business, we are increasing our full year 2023 revenue guidance to between 680 million and 685 million, which is 10% year over year growth at the midpoint. We're guiding fourth quarter 2023 uh, revenue to be between 175 million and 180 million, which is 10% year over year increase at the midpoint. Uh, we are increasing their full year EBITDA guidance to between 67 million and 71 million as the company said it remained committed to focusing on profitable growth and increasing margins in 2023. We expect fourth quarter adjusted EBITDA to be between uh, 24 million and 28 million, which represents uh, an adjusted EBITDA margin of 13.5% to 15.8%. So again, this was all uh, bullish news, stock trading higher in the in the after hours. But again, you know, right now, I think it's these low flow plays uh, with short squeeze potential. Uh, that's what we're focused here at, at insiderfinancial.com. And that's what's what's what, what, what is working. You know, if it's working, stick with it. Uh, like I said, two big runners from uh, last week. So uh, we got another one on our radar. And we like these 2 p.m. alerts because it, it's everyone gets at the same time. Uh, the shorts are, are caught off guard and you get that short squeeze potential. So that's what we're focused on right now. And to get our uh, 2 p.m. alert tomorrow, the fastest way is with is is via SMS. So make sure after you sign up that you sign up with your mobile number. Again, it's completely free. Uh, we don't uh, only if your carrier charges. So that's uh, it's a free service from InsiderFinancial.com. And as I said, it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For U.S. and Canada, be one plus area code and number. And here at InsiderFinancial.com, what we're doing is we're putting stocks on your radar with potential outsized moves. As I have repeatedly stated, there are always opportunities each day in the markets. The important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money. The key is trading green, not red. We're looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts. It's all about finding the momentum before it happens and riding that wave. That's what we're doing here at InsiderFinancial.com. And again, to get our small cap reports, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at insiderfinancial.com and unsubscribe. Finally, Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation by sell or hold securities. This video is our opinion. is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button, hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Have a great week, traders. Bye-bye.